reunited and it feels so good. It is a great Wednesday morning. I am back, back in a leaf mood, new leaf mood. Uh, I'm trying to make all sorts of song references about the leaf, but that was two. Two is pretty good. I uh, got the leaf back today. Really, really happy about it. Happy to be back in my my little car, uh, my unbelievable car, Groot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, super, super happy to have it back. And it's so nice. Gosh, I missed it so much. Check them out. They're they're really cool. They're actually really delicious. And uh, yeah, I think you're really gonna like them if you haven't had them. This video is not sponsored by Lenny and Larry. The thing that I still find interesting about driving the Leaf around is that there's still a level of weirdness that comes with driving it. And I'm not talking about the feeling of, you know, getting used to the braking or how tight everything can feel compared to a combustion engine or, you know, the way the steering wheel feels or the seat heaters or anything like that. Not that kind of weirdness. I'm specifically talking about the weirdness that comes from going to particular places while driving an electric car. Uh, this morning, stopped at a gas station. convenience store gas station to get coffee and it uh, it's still very odd to pull this car into a gas station um, especially when you get the looks from the people who know what it is they're confused while you're there it's like they forget that you know the store inside sells coffee and beverages and things like that so you still get some weirdness from things like that I grabbed a Lenny and Larry's complete cookie for breakfast today Uh, I get them once in a while. I used to be a big protein power bar, cliff bar, kind of uh, junky almost. Um, especially, especially when I'm trying to uh, give a lot of protein and sort of watch what I eat for breakfast, which I know that doesn't make a lot of sense. Generally, protein bars and stuff like that are total meal replacements and, you know, post-workout and things like that. And they don't work out well as breakfast and... They're full of a lot of crap you don't really need, but the uh, Lenny and Larry's make for a good breakfast. It's good at both uh, getting a bunch of protein, uh, enough to last me through my morning, uh, as well as sort of curbing the sweet tooth, which is a big one for me. So they work really well for me for that. So that's why I get them. Today they only had snickerdoodle, which is unfortunate. Uh, I've been liking the birthday cake. But uh, yeah, if you've never had them and you're you know, kind of into the protein bar sort of breakfast complete bar kind of thing. There's a level of weirdness that comes from uh, being in crowds. My leaf has the backup beep. The thing I always have to remember is that the car does not make any noise. It's really quiet when it's on. Uh, obviously, there's some videos out there about the, you know, low mile per hour noise that it, that it makes, but uh, in general, if you're sitting in a parking lot and you turn it on, it's quiet to anybody walking around. So a crowd of people standing around your car, for them to know it's going to move, they're listening for that engine sound. I still do the same thing when I'm at a store in a parking lot. I'm listening for engine sound. So the, the backup beep in most cases just confuses people. Uh, it's, you know, they're looking for something bigger. There's no engine noise associated. So they're not sure what exactly it is they're supposed to do. But uh, it's still weird to uh, have to deal with navigating around people, especially with that noise factor. And then the final bit of weirdness that is still unusual to me, even though we're all here on this YouTube channel, is just the amount of conversation that the leaf creates. It seems like most places we go, if there's someone nearby who sees it pull up, they'll ask a question. My wife had it for a few days. She was asked a bunch of questions about it. My sister, who has driven it, asks a bunch of questions about it. Um, it's been recognized from the YouTube videos now, which is really, really crazy to think about. Thank you for watching, by the way. It's just a car that people want to know about. 
and that goes back to, you know, what I talked about before. It doesn't make any noise. People want to know about electric cars. Electric cars are the future, but people still don't have them. So they're confused. They want to know more. Um, and it just creates a, a level of weirdness, a level of awkwardness when, when strangers come up and talk to you. Um, but it's all good, and it's totally worth it in the end. Those of you that have Leafs, I think you'll agree that, uh, you know, the, the extra conversation and the questions and having to deal with a couple little eccentricities here and there, uh, it's fine. It, 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 it works out, and everything is, is okay in the end. So just some weirdness in the Leaf and some things that I've been thinking about. And uh, if there's stuff that you guys want to know about the Leaf in general, leave me a comment down below and, and ask your questions. We'll do a Q&A vid here coming up. Just a lot of stuff coming up that I'm excited about, so if you haven't liked and subscribed, uh, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and, and yeah, and I appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching all these videos, by the way. big on random acts of kindness. Uh, I bought a stranger a cup of coffee this morning. I'm not, I'm not big. I don't do it all the time. Essentially, there was a police officer getting a cup of coffee at the racetrack while I was there. Um, so I paid for his coffee. Uh, it's something I've been wanting to do more of, and not specifically for police officers. He just happened to be a police officer in this scenario. Uh, it's something my wife and I have talked about, but the, uh, the coffee that I got at racetrack this morning was terrible. Uh, it was burnt, it was gross, it had probably 3x as much coffee grounds needed to make a good cup of coffee, uh, so it was super strong and super gross on top of being burnt. Uh, and I feel bad, because now I bought this guy a cup of coffee and it was probably terrible, so I don't know. I guess it's the thought that counts, but my thought right now is that he got a really shitty cup of coffee out of the deal so I don't know I'm feeling bad about it but oh well I just had to go get another cup of coffee so it's kind of it's kind of been bummed about the whole situation all day it's kind of a long crappy day today. It does feel really, really great to be back in the leaf after almost a week without it, so. <laughs> wow, the uh, car in front of me just slammed on its brakes and stopped at a green light and then turned across three lanes of traffic. That was scary. 